extending our previous experiment with DIY try where we have created our own LoRa based chat system without using any internet connection or mobile network. This time instead of using the web UI based on the Wi-Fi hotspot from our node MCU, what we will be doing? We will be using USB OTG serial connection to chat with each other. So let's get started. We have taken the two LoRa modules from our previous episode and those are connected to the node MCU ESP8266 as usual for this demonstration. And what else we need basically for today's episode, we will need two OTG cables. So I am taking one small OTG connector, another OTG cable and we will need two USB or I'll say micro USB to USB cable. What I will simply do, I will connect one end that is the micro USB end to the microcontroller. I will take out a phone. I will take the OTG connector. I will connect that. Then simply I will insert that in the mobile phone. Same process we have to do on the other device too. And we will see how we can chat from mobile serial console. We need to install one application from Play Store. Go to Play Store. Go into the search mode and search for USB serial. And you will see serial USB terminal. The first one. This is really small 1.5 MB only. Click on install. This is installed now. You can open it or close the entire window now. So once you install your serial USB terminal application, open that one, go into the hamburger menu from the left top corner, then click on settings and you need to change your baud rate, which is 115200 for us. If you remember our previous episode, we have set the serial console at that. Other things can be same. And if I go to send option, new line, everything can be auto. Make sure local echo is turned off. Otherwise, you will see whatever you type in that is showing over two times. Turn that off. Clear output on the send. So once you do these settings, we are all good to go. Okay. So I have done the same settings on the second phone as well. And let me open up or not open up. Let me just connect the OTG connectors on both the phones. So let me connect this one first. As you see, it is giving one pop up. Click on OK. And let me do the same thing on the other phone as well. It is also giving the pop-up, click on OK and on the top, you will see three buttons at the right top corner. One is detach or attach, one is delete and another is having three dots. So let, let's click on that attach button on both the phones. As you see, it is showing connected to the, our device and this is optional. You can also do one thing just to be sure if your program is loaded correctly. Hit the reset button on both the Node MCU ESP8266 modules and you will see LoRa initialization is successful and some junk characters don't worry about that. What I'll do, so I'll type in some message from the first one and you see I received that on the second phone and let me reply back from the second phone and I simultaneously received that on the first phone and let me do one thing. Let me put both the phones on airplane mode. Both the phones are now on airplane mode. That means there is no network connection, no internet or Wi-Fi, anything like that. I can simply type in hello from Das Learning and that has been received from the second phone. And let me do hello from DIY try. Click send and I receive that on my first phone. And this is really useful device. Whenever there is no internet, no network connections, we can easily leverage this. We can use simple USB OTG and connect our microcontroller. Obviously, LoRa is connected to the microcontroller and we can send any message. Send message without internet that has been received on the second phone as well. That's so cool. 